what's going on guys chad b back again with another video on the mavic air 2 uh in today's video we're going to do some night flying this is my first time flying at night uh in low light i'm in a uh, mall parking lot it's empty it's well lit and uh i'm just going to put the drone up in the air and see uh, what kind of footage i can get and see how how good it looks so you guys just stick around and um i'm going to put this up in the air all right All right, so everything is all, I did all my checks. Um, everything is good to go. Let me just check one more time. All right, return to home height. It's 305 feet. Uh, home point has been updated. And uh, let's see here. All right, return to home. That's good. Now I have my, uh, settings uh, my camera settings set to uh, my shutter speed is a uh, 160th and my ISO is cranked all the way up to uh, 6400 alright so we're just going to do a uh, auto takeoff so we're in an altitude zone and uh, that's not going to be a problem because I'm not going any higher than that. probably uh, 80 meters maybe. So I'm going to go ahead and take it up. Also have my uh, beacon going. As you can see, this is a well lit area. I'll take it up to maybe 200 feet. I'm going to do a slow pan around. So this is Potomac Mills Mall. And I'm just going to stay around in this parking lot. It's pretty empty, as you can see. Pretty empty, you got some restaurants over here. Got a movie theater over there. Looks, uh, you know, I see a little noise on here. I can see uh, once I pan towards the darker areas here. The darker areas, you can see a little noise there. Uh, let me just play with this ISO, maybe. Let me just see how it looks. Yeah, it's a little bit too dark, but it's a little too dark. Let's see how it looks over here in this well-lit parking lot over here. Got a little Costco's here. It doesn't look too bad here. Uh, you still see, you know, we still got some noise there, but it's not as bad. Uh, so what I'm going to do is crank it back up. And I'm looking at it on the FPV, so, uh, you know, can't really tell until I see the actual uh, footage from the DVR. But so far, you know, I like, it's decent. You definitely have to be in a well-lit area to actually get some good night footage uh, with this this drone. So I'm gonna just go over here. Slowly. You got some cars running through here, but Over to this gas station. I think that's a gas station, yeah. Just pan over here just to see what's over here. And I'll probably do, maybe I might do a point of interest, a half circle. 
around uh, this this gas station. Take it back up around two fifty. So I'm going to select this, uh, bring it up just a little bit more. I'm going to select this here as my point of interest, see if it takes. Lighting, okay, lighting is not great. Yeah, it's too dark. Let's see if I can roll over here to where my car is. I wonder if it'll let me select my car. Yeah, it's too dark. So what I want to do is just probably just do a uh, manual orbit. And then I'm going to go over to... Uh, take it, bring it down just a little. It's always good to practice this. Probably want to get in a little tighter. Go the opposite direction. Let's right, see if I can get the sweet spot here. There we go. Not too fast. This feels like it's pulling back. I don't know if it's me on the sticks. Probably just me on the sticks. Let's go to the left. That's enough of that. So um, <clears throat> let's fly over here. Try to stay away from the cars. We're just gonna go right over this way. Probably stay in this parking lot. All these other restaurants over here. Yeah. Fly this way. Definitely the more light you have, the better it will be at night. And that's the case with anything. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a peek over here at 95. There I am right there in my car, the white car. So I got my auxiliary light on so I can actually see it. I do have a, I have a strobe on there, but the strobe is on top, so you can't see it while you're underneath. So I just want to keep an eye on it. 
as I'm uh, going down with it, but the LED light works very well. Alright, so here we go, 195, and I believe we have the Potomac Mills sign right here. And let's do this. And let's it up a little bit more I'm going down 66% and I still have 17 satellites so I'm good so what I'm going to do is uh, probably bring this back a little bit So I am filming in um, 4K 30 frames per second. Four K thirty frames per second and um, and I have it in uh, manual settings. So this is uh ninety five. So what I'm going to do is um, bring it back and I'm going to do something that I learned uh, just the other day by watching uh, Drone X Factor uh, with, uh, I'm going to put a ND16 filter on here and see if I can get some long exposure uh, photos of 95, uh, see how well that works. I'm not going to get too close to the sign. It is a little dark, so. Alright, so I'm going to pan back the other way. Orbit back the other way. Let's turn around this way. Let's head back to me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to land it right here, move over just a little. I'm not going to land it on the car, but close to the car. Let's bring it on down. Landing. All right, let's cut the light off. Light is off. And I'm going to switch out to uh, ND16 filter, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I have my ND16 filter on, and I'm ready to take off. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my camera, go to photos. And uh, what I'm going to do is crank down the, the ISO all the way to 100, and then 
uh, crank up the uh, shutter speed to eight seconds and I'm going to take a couple shots take a couple shots and uh, test it out basically that's what uh, drone x-factor did so I'm just going to test it out it looked pretty cool the way he did it so um, I'm going to test it out now so I'm going to take uh, one shot at ISO 100 and it'll take eight seconds All right, so I'm going to go back in and check out that that photo. And it looks pretty decent. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to uh, crank up the ISO to 200 and see how that looks. And I'm going to actually turn it this way and take eight seconds all right let's check that one out now that's that's nice i like that i'm gonna try that 300 let's see uh what iso 300 looks like no well, actually no it's three or four hundred go straight to 400 but it might let's see how this looks let's do iso Let's check this one out. Well, I think I like that. That looks nice. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, pan this around a little bit and get it from the opposite direction. So let's pan this around. And we're going to get the mill sign in there just so I'm gonna move up just a little all right so let's try this uh, with the ISO 400 and let's rotate this gimbal up just a little all right here we go see what that look like so I'm a 31% battery it's a little blurry because I think I moved the, the aircraft let's try that one more time because I thought I heard thought I heard an aircraft but I think it was a truck let's see what this looks like nice I'm thinking I'm going to crank it back down to ISO 200. Two hundred. I think it's a little noisy. All right. So I'm running on 28%. And let's see. Nice. Alright, so let's bring this on home. Take a couple more pictures, maybe. We got 26%. Alright, so it's about to return home. Should have just put a fresh battery in there. Alright, so we're just going to return it home. And I can see my aircraft. nice all right so let's return this thing bad boy home turn Go home. and I'm right there 
we'll step out the car for a second. The LED light on the bottom is great because you can spot this thing. So I'm going to cancel this and land it on my own. Ah, all right guys, so uh, that was nice. Uh, good for my first flight, I, um, or first flight at night. Uh, I took some uh, long exposure uh, photos and um, I'll actually post them at the end of this video as well. I think uh, that was a successful flight um, to be my first. Actually, this is the perfect spot to do my first flight. Empty parking lot, uh, big mall, uh, no one's really here, so. Um, that's pretty good. You guys, um, be good, be safe, and uh, check out some more of my videos if you like. Uh, they should be popping up here somewhere uh, on the screen. And um, until next time, guys, peace.